Nice to meet you, Martin. Thank you, Mrs. Huxtable. To me, you got the makings of a star, and I want to help you get there. Well, that's a nice offer, but I'm not quite sure how you expect to do that. Well, you've brought me so much joy over the years as that lovable murderer of teenagers, and I want to return the favor. I, I don't even have an agent anymore. Up story tonight, the Rhode Island Historical Society is heralding the arrival of a cast-iron, oak-handled colonial bedsheet warmer, now on display in the State House Rotunda. Okay, there it is. As I understand it, they would put the coal inside it. Wait, Peter, don't go! So, you changed your mind, huh, buddy? We going to Hollywood? You betcha. But I have to say, I thought you'd drive a fancier car. What? Why? Well, aren't you the Peter Griffin of Peter Griffin Cadillac? No, that's another guy. Hi. And I'm gonna help him make it happen. You see, everybody needs just one person to believe in their dreams so they can spread their wings and fly. Dad, can I have money for dance classes? Sit down, you dumpy bread loaf. I'd pay to see you not dance. When will you be back? I don't know. So, how do we do this? You do nothing. You just sit back and let your agent knock on every door in Hollywood till he gets you an acting job. And that starts right now. Yes? C can I help you? No, but I can help you. You need to hire this friend. Yeah. You remember that girl Lindsay I told you about? Well, I asked her out and now we are dating. Lindsay, this is my mom, my little brother Stewie, and my dog Brian. Hey. Oh my god. Just Hollywood players eat here, and we just gotta make it big where one of them. That's why I got these old Hollywood Jew glasses. Waiter! Oh, waiter! Yes, sir. Are you gentlemen ready to order? Yes, I will have the big and fancy, and my client here will have a bottle of your best steak. Right? I am. You've got ten seconds to dazzle me. Go! Well, I'm the casting director for NCIS, and we need an actor for a small role that shoots tomorrow. This is your man. That's great! He's got just the look we're after. Show up here at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, baby. I almost had one of you twice. <laughs> Who didn't, right? So, what are you two up to tonight? Well, we really haven't decided yet. Yeah, I'll think of something while I'm taking a chick dump in your parents' bathroom. And I will... Squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey! Hey, get out of here! This is our yard! You don't belong there! Don't you touch anything! I told you all this yesterday! That's the end of my line. Your line, NCIS. You son of a bitch, you made me feel again. Oh, don't you go, because I'll go. You know, Peter, I just want to thank you for all you've done for me. You, you are one hell of an agent. Come on, don't touch yourself. You're God. Top-notch medical care, not available to the rest of society. My body was immediately taken to a Hollywood hospital, where I was hooked up to a 17-year-old ingenue. And in accordance with Hollywood law... Up over the years. Why would I want to help you? Well, because you're my agent. Oh, my God, you're right. I am. Hey, hold on now. You came out here to be my agent. Tom, relax. I can take care of your boat. You'd be surprised how much I can handle. Peter, I need you to drop Stewie off at daycare, and it's... Yeah, I should probably get going myself. Oh, my God. What? What is it, Lois? That girl over there. That, that's Chris's girlfriend. Hey, you know, she kind of looks like you, Lois. <gasps> All right, gentlemen, so what do you got for my client? Well, we're making a mediocre action film, and we think James is just the guy to do a serviceable job in a supporting role that Jeremy Irons, Jeff Goldblum, and Craig T... Uh, just trying to reach you again, and... You know, about that meeting you set up with me and Heath Ledger, he he never showed. Maybe I was at the wrong Panda Express, but I, I, it... Anyway, uh, call me back. I wish I could help you, Tom, but this is coming from upstairs. The karate studio? Tom, I have to go now. But if you're ever Kevin James, I want you to give me a call. Is she hot or not? I, I guess. Okay, good, great. So clear out of your apartment. We're going to be there in 15. What? I'm sleeping. Why can't you bring it to your place? I don't know, man. It's my aunt's daughter. It's weird. Well, you got to admit, Mom, she does look a lot like you. I mean, I just look at you and Dad, you know? He, he's a complete train wreck, and you put up with him. And I'm no prize myself. So I guess I figured if I don't find a girl just like you... Seems I got your next project right here. Peter, you've pitched me dozens of projects, and all of them involve me playing a hayride driver. I don't know. I just see you doing that. You know, this year it's vampires, next year it's hay. These things go in cycles. Peter, this is... Pro 
Hey, Tom. How you doing? What do you want? James Woods fired me. Listen, I I've been thinking. I, I was a real jerk to you. Hey, check out this picture James Woods texted me. What is that? A balloon running out of air? Yeah, see, I was hoping you would know. It's his cousin's anus. Asked you, what did Lindsay say when you broke up with her? Oh, she didn't seem to mind. I think she already moved on to someone else. Thanks for buying me these clothes, Glenn. You're welcome. And you're dismissed. Do I still get to keep the 20? Bravo, Lois. The last horse finally crosses the finish line. Stewie, all these months I should have been paying attention to what you've been saying. You're an evil child. Why? Why did I... Well, come on. Get up. It's opening day for the shirts. Hey, Chris, Meg, we're going to Fenway. Peter, you can't just pull the kids out of school for a baseball game. Uh, there's nothing these kids learn in school. They can't learn on a street. Family was killed, and I am a vegetable. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Huh? Oh, please, Peter. Your excuses are lamer than FDR's legs. <gasps> Too soon? Souvenir bat. Sure. <laughs> what did you learn? This is great. We haven't done anything together like this since we saw Mike Tyson get beat. All right, Mike. The word again is onomatopoeia. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Peter? Oh, oh uh, uh, hi, Mr. Weed. Have to earn it. Hmm. Earn it. <laughs> I got you for a second. <laughs> uh, Mr. Weed, all the way to upper management. I don't know. What do you call it? A promotion. Oh, thanks. Here's a memo. B has a place to let her pies cool. Hello, boys. Today's pie is cherry. It'll be ready just in time for lunch. Wow, these guys sure know how to run a company. Look how happy those morons. Can't we eat? I'm so hungry I could ride a horse. I don't get it. Well, I could ride it to the store, I guess. I told you we're not starting without your father. <laughs> what? Yeah, the new owners gave everyone races. Even Kenneth, the badass mail clerk with the heart of gold. Hi, Kenneth. Hey, did I get any mail? No, and if you come any closer, I'll slice you. Okay. Potatoable. What the hell? El Dorado cigarettes? That's who bought your company? Oh, my God. They're trying to corrupt our children. Oh, what do you expect? Those bastards turned a whole generation of Americans into... These new bosses of yours first thing in the morning. Don't you worry, Lois. I'll set them straight. Just like I did with Chris. Dad, what's the blowhole for? I'll tell you what it's not for, son. Trust me, Peter. The last thing we want is to get kids to start smoking. Well, then, then, then what about that graph on the wall that says the first thing we want is to get kids to start smoking? That? Oh, that's just something my son made me, me president. I'll do it. Dun, 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 dun. Kind of respect before. Great workout, Bobby. Up your sack breath. That's Mr. Griffin. But, Peter, why would they make you president? Well, maybe it's because I can recite all... That's ridiculous. I don't hey, need... Hey, Meg, do you get less ugly? Yeah. Surprise! Uh, everything looks the same. Oh, it looks the same. But isn't it wonderful? The company sent Martha Stewart to help me with the housework. I take back all the bad things I said about them. The coffee is delicious, Martha. A little chicory perks up the taste of roasted... Well, that looks exactly like my old space. Yeah, but this one comes with your own company suck-up. Morning, Mr. Griffin. Nice day. Well, it's a little cloudy. It's absolutely cloudy. One of the worst days I've seen in years. So... Clouds? I'll have that fixed for you tomorrow, sir. Here's your new digs. Now get to work, sport. We're counting on you. <laughs> Idiots in Washington. Instead of a smart guy, we should send a moron they can relate to. Yeah, hey, yeah absolutely. Good thought. But where are we going to find someone within the company who's that stupid? Yeah, and not just stupid, fat. <laughs> So, uh, what's this big assignment you got for me, Chairman of the Broad? <laughs> Shut us down. We need someone important, like you, to go down to Washington and help those bastards see what kind of fun-loving people the tobacco industry's really made of. Washington? Ah, sweet! Hey, I'm your man! How long have you been 
is Dad going to be in Washington? As long as it takes. He's a very important man now. You know, he's the spokesman for his entire industry. He hello, hello, Mr. Harrison. Yeah, I see those government guys you were telling me about. I'll show them a good time and get them to come around to our side. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I just got it. Hey, hey, Army. Hey, hey, what's your wife's name? Vagina Coast Guard? <laughs> you may have killed her when you shoved all those dollar bills down her throat. You may have killed her when you hit her with the stool. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But I tell you what didn't kill her. Smoking. Guess anything's better than looking at your smelly face. Mom! Now, honey, your face smells fine. You know he doesn't mean it. It's just a lack of nicotine. Hey, Mom, the school janitor said that Dad's working for the bad guy. And she has gotten fat. Oh, my God, Stewie, no! Oh, God, what?